Hello everyone, I kind of just want to do a kind of an, a quick update of what's going on with everything. And uh, one of the big things I'm working on is like um, a new project called the Osos Project, which is all the animation stuff, IK, everything I've kind of been doing, spending a lot of time with in the last couple of years doing um, and making it into like an open source project where everyone can use and con contribute to make a better version of it. So. Uh, so where everything in the past where I kind of was just creating things with just for fungi and now I'm actually making it for th for things for anyone to use in all honesty um, which is good for the you know for the grand scheme of things uh, I use 3gs more now than I do fungi uh, simply because of uh, work requirements um, and right now I'm kind of showing off like a prototype of full body IK I guess is what you can probably define this as and uh, this is one of the things I'm going to add to the project for people to use it would be I guess it'd be great for like animation tools or um, you know posing characters. I would love to make a little poser online, so this way you can pose characters and whatnot and save them. Um, so yeah, it all it all comes down to the the thing I want to create, which is kind of like an open source alternative to like Mixamo. So having the ability to pose would that be a nice extra bonus because Mixamo can't do that. But the idea if I can share animations like I have, you know, like IK Rigs now supports like retargeting animations and things like that. So now I'm like extending it with these extra little features. Um, so yeah, so this is, so I'm kind of experimenting with this. Uh, this is uses a Verlay integration. Um, and uh, if you, you know, you can, if you go, uh, go, uh, do a YouTube search for Verlay integration and like coding math, you'll find pretty much uh, the gist of it. So I kind of don't know if I would ever want to create a tutorial about it simply because his tutorial was awesome and it's pretty much, uh, I don't think I can, can contribute much to it other than um, maybe in the future I'll make like so, like a video on how to do this, how to build this type of system. It's still a little funky. Uh, it's not perfect aligned. Um, but it is, it does the job. Like it, I can pose a character. So, um, but I do feel like I am doing a disservice to this, uh, simply because, um, I don't know how to rig and animate characters and I'm trying to build an animation and rigging tools, which, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like the smartest idea. Uh, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm doing, you know, in the last couple of years, I guess I'm doing pretty good for not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out how to do things. Like, how do, how do I move this? How do I move that? Uh, how do I make arms go where they need to go? Uh, you know, now I'm at this point where I have so many tools that work. Now I just like, well, how do I use these tools? You know, <laughs> so um, so maybe at some point soon, I need to like, get some tutorials and, and really sit down, learn to become an animator, learn to become a rigger. Um, so this way I can create rigging tools that make sense, you know, uh, you know, like a, a programmer who makes art software, but that doesn't know how to draw, isn't going to do disservice to the project simply because they don't know certain things with an artist might want or need. They don't have that full understanding. So I think that's something I probably really should do at this point. Um, probably not something I never really tried to do because I thought I would never actually make, make it this far. Um, but yeah, look, <laughs> so yeah, listen, it's pretty cool. Like I, I always wanted to do a poser thing and I never thought it would be possible, but, um, yeah, it works. It works. Um, I'm not really happy with it. You know, like, like I'm moving the arm around and the hand doesn't like it's, I got to figure out how to do all these behaviors and. I even don't know if I'm doing this right, like using Verlay integration. Um, but I've read that Verlay integration is used for ragdoll physics and things like that. So maybe this is the right way to do things. Um, maybe I just don't know how to do, properly create the, um, the, uh, the system that utilizes it correctly. Um, that's probably part of the problem, um, how to handle constraints. Right now, all the constraints are kind of just being executed in a big group. Um, I have a feeling that I probably have to maybe do a hierarchy of constraints, you know, like, you know, so this way, if you're moving the hand, then it'll, you know, it'll do the verlay for the hand, then it'll do the arm, then the spine, you know, things like that. Like it'd be a little more intelligent instead of just running everything. Um, I did a little bit of like behavior where the poles only handles like rotation. It doesn't actually move. So if I want to move it forward, I can't. 
because that really screwed me up a lot when the beginning of the system. So any pull points can't move the body. But if I want to move the, if I want to grab the hand and move the whole body, it will just follow along. So I can I can actually do this. We <laughs> now it's all twisted up. Um, but I can I should be able to grab the head. Well, but that's a pull point, and certain things are not um stable like the tr the triangle ones aren't very stable i don't know why uh i might be doing something wrong when it comes to the triangle constraint um yeah <laughs> it's all twisty it was a good pose until i decided to start grabbing things and just yanking things across the screen we <laughs> um so yeah so this is full body ik like i said it's gonna it's part of, it's gonna be part of the osos project um, so far, only the arm armature system has been um, uh, ported over, which is in TypeScript and um, doesn't use any, like like I said, it's like only has one dependency. And uh, like I said, it would, should make it easier for a lot of people to use. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm looking at the clock. It's already six minutes. And um, I just don't want to make this a long uh, thing. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to put links at the bottom of the description. Uh, if you want to join the project, uh, some, you know, improve ideas if you have like cool uh, ways for me to learn how to do rigging like good actual good professional tutorials I and mean, even if i have to pay something and just wait for them to go on sale or something uh, i'll probably definitely do it so this way i can actually learn to make better tools <laughs> like i said uh, you know and like a programmer who making art software should learn how to draw a little bit um so yeah so uh hopefully i'll return back to doing tutorials like i said i want to do one on full body ik once it's fully functional and i have it like working really well uh so that would be a great uh you know uh next video since i stopped at doing um ik rigs uh tutorials so yeah uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next year uh you know it's uh december 26th it's the day after christmas so hope everyone have a happy new year and i'll see you guys in 2022 bye bye